Hi guys, um, so I wanted to discuss something with you guys um, just so you understand that um, it's going to be something that I wanted to talk to you guys about um, because I'm experiencing it myself and so I wanted to see like, first of all, <clears throat> the whole point of my journey, um, I know one of my purposes is to remember and to share what I remember and to share my experiences. Each time I go through my YouTube channel is go with the flow and you could see it. It's uh, my face and I'm like that. It's like almost the same face as this one. Um, I had a lot of triggering and letting go today. Um, look, when I say the emotional triggers that I was experiencing, these are things that, thank you, Bank. These are things that I'm experiencing myself. And like I said, my purpose, one of my purposes, one of them, because I have many purposes here in this, in this um, dimension, and in this time and space. Um, one of my purposes is to, <clears throat> yeah, um, I'm sure you are, Des uh, Desiree. Listen, one of my purposes is to share my emotional experiences and what I go through. And sometimes when I get on and I'm like, you know, intense emotions and I'm like this, like that, it's for a reason. Like, it's like God tells me all the time, share your emotions, share your experience. And nobody wants to Oh, Astro says I'm literally in the bathroom crying right now. So I'm going to tell you something. All day today, I was driving. I started crying. I was like hitting the... Um, I had to pull over when I was. I went on live and I was trying to explain to everybody what I'm experiencing here. And I'm going through these changes where I'm like, I want these fucking nails off. I fucking hate makeup. Like I was just like saying all this like, like weird stuff. And like I, I, I ate emotionally. I emotionally ate today. I did like... um. um the li this lion's gate isn't doing anybody good right this moment. The portal, let me tell you why. Because we're walking into a new portal. And so that old portal is being released. Understand. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you how I'm, I've, been, I've been shown all day. Because, yeah, it's intense. Yeah, we're crying. Yeah, we're upset. We're emotional. Triggers are coming up from the past. Things that maybe you, you haven't dealt with yet, right? For instance, like... You know, for some, whatever you, whatever you go through, whether it be with love, with food, with money, with people, whatever emotions you have intensely inside of you, your friend, a family friend passed and I feel bad for the parents because it's the third time they have to bury their child. Wow. Is that, that's for, from, from an overdose, you know, from an overdose. So let me, look, I'm sorry that happened, but you know, you can't let, you can't let those you can't let everybody's emotion affect you. Emotions affect you. I'm going to tell you right now. I was supposed to do readings. Um, the Lionsgate portal readings. And I canceled. I told them, please, not today. I I just can't. I can't. I'm not here. Right right here. I'm not in my mind, state of mind where I need to be. I do feel the collective consciousness energy a lot. I really do. Um, so when the collective is not feeling right, I'm not feeling right. It's like I know. So I know what everybody's experiencing. So what I want to tell you is if you are experiencing this at this time, I'm going to say something right now, though. <clears throat> what I want to say to you guys is that yes, yes, yes. Right now it's intense. It's emotional. And it's actually, actually, it's quite frustrating, to be honest with you. It's, it's frustrating, especially when you don't understand what's going on. It could be very frustrating, okay? It's frustrating for me. And I understand that because I'm going through it myself. Drunk driving accident. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry that, you know, that happens to a couple of people I know too. And I'm just going to say, um, they'll be in their heavenly place together, learning lessons and knowing not to do things like that um, in the next lifetime. And we're all learning here, right? We're all learning, so there's no need to be upset. But I got to say something. I know it feels intense right now and I feel your pain almost like I feel it because we're literally experiencing a crunch. It's like, you know, if you put a bunch of problems together or issues together and they all get thrown in this bag and you mix it up and then you look into the, to the bag and you're like, oh my God, there's all these problems and I don't know which one to solve first. That's what it feels like today. It feels like an emotional, like you're just being... <clears throat> does this happen to you like every day I have moments where I feel great and then all of a sudden I feel lost oh it happens to me all the time being I have a lot of Gemini in my chart too Mike so that does definitely affect my 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 way of thinking where Gemini and Virgos rule the mind 
<clears throat> we rule the mind and Gemini rules the mind. Um, but Gemini and Virgos are both ruled by Mer Mercury. So the planet of communication, it's the mind. Mercury is the mind. And so what happens is we will have so much information stored into us at once that if we don't learn to decode what is coming into our brains, it could it could seem like almost depression, right? It's like a up and a down. It's like a high and low. And that's why I know I was called bipolar before because you're a Gemini rising, so you know. Today, if you're crying for no reason, you're releasing. I was crying today. Let me tell you something. I, I share my emotions. I'm not sad. Here's, here's the thing. I'm not sad. I'm not mad. I'm not sad. But I, I deal with things in the astral, in my spiritual life, in my world of spiritual ascension on a very personal, deep level. And I don't share those things because a lot of people are like, what is she talking about? Things go on in my dreams and all that. And you guys could say they're just dreams. They're not just dreams. They're not. Um, the, the reason to get headaches before the full, before the new moon. So when a moon is developing, if you think about it, it's an expansion, right? It's like an expansion of energy. It's developing and then you have the new moon coming in. Poop, and then the moon comes. Now you're tired. You're feeling tired. Just like the moon. It's growing. It's expanding. It's small and then it gets bigger and bigger and it's expanding. Energy is shifting from low energy to high energy to no energy and then boom and it explodes to the point where when the full moon comes i always 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 see always space ships near the moon always because you know they say charge your crystals in the moon charge your crystals in the sun they give off an energy source and so i always catch them on my phone and people are like that's a planet i'm like no the fuck it's not it's not a planet it's a fucking it's a ufo <laughs> you know because they come and they get energy um Energy is sourced from the moon and the sun, just so you guys know. Yes, Jesus does love me. Jesus loves everybody in here. Thank you so much for that. Um, So I just got to say, and I'm looking out and there's a vulture right there, right by the tree. And vultures are half in, half out. They are known to see into the spiritual world and to bring you a big message from the underworld, okay? And the underworld is a, a part of a spiritual dimension which carries sometimes, um, for some people, negative connotations. But if you think of the vulture, they clear the path, right? They eat carcasses, dead bodies. They don't They don't hunt live things. They, they eat what's already dead. So they clear that out of the way. And this is what's happening. It's a big clearing, big clearing. Is there a way to speak to loved ones if you're not gifted? Um, I'm going to tell you right now, my loved ones come to me in my dreams a lot, um, a lot. So dream state, but they're not going to just come communicate with you here and like be like that. Like there's something about um, loved ones not being able to cross certain boundaries with you because you think about it. If they could, they would tell us things that they're not allowed to tell us. You know what I mean? You're welcome, Ashley. Ashley, thank you so much for coming on here and speaking to us. I literally need it right now at this moment. I, I felt it. Listen, I feel it. I will sit in my home, right? I just took a nap. First of all, I'm going to tell you right now, if you guys are not nappers, start becoming one because a nap changes my whole energy i will well it won't take away everything but it really does reset me in a sense um but the thing about me is because i astral project so much i always wake up hungry and thinking that i want food and this and that but it's really just because i'm astral projecting so i'm trying to control that part is that like i know that i astral project a lot i'm a strong astral projector <clears throat> Um, you feel like you need a reading, especially after the past two days. You know, sometimes it's not even a reading you need. It's more like just hearing something that will click with you. <coughs> I always say to people when I give them a reading, it's more like a connecting to your soul and understanding what you're going through at the moment. But I'm understanding what you're going through right now. We are shifting. The 8-8 portal is bringing people to a new way of thinking, a new way of life. And it's asking you to let go of some energies that we could have been holding on to <clears throat> too tightly or energies could be holding on to us too tightly. There are habits and things that we are doing that are, are being asked to be let go of. I know because I am I struggle with the eating habits. I'm just going to say I try very hard to go like eat healthy and do all that. And then it's just like sometimes I'm just like, motherfucker, like, why did I just eat that? You know, like I'm I'm guilty about everything I eat. You know what I mean? I'm always like, what the fuck, Flo? Why did you just eat that? You were doing so good. And then I try to fast and then I overeat. So I'm trying to get that part of my life under control. I struggle with working out, going to the gym. 
I struggle with getting myself up to go do stuff like that. I'm bored. I don't want to go alone. And blah, blah, blah. I struggle with getting up and, and like check over checking on my finances. Like, okay, I have this much money saved. Like these are habits that the universe this is called like a double spiritual awakening today for me. I'm having like a, I'm exploding with spiritual awakeness today. And so, yeah. If you're feeling that way right now, yes, you're feeling intense energies because the energies are shifting. And I'm looking at the number three, two over here and three plus two is five and five is the number of change. And we are being asked to let go of the old habits, the old ways. I um, organized my, the shit out of my room. I cleared my desk. Like I took so much off my desk. I t like I had so much stuff there and I just organized everything. Like it's, it's a lot of stuff around, but I organized everything. If you could see, I really went in and just organized my room. I took everything out, all the extra shit I had all over on over here. I just took everything out. Okay. Um, I did some major clearing and organization in my room. And, and you know, because for me, especially being a Virgo, if my home is not clear and I don't um, I don't clear the, the way my home feels and looks, I will feel out of place and I will feel out of out of um, out of organization in my mind. Yeah, well, the room looks the room looks good. It's still to me because I'm a Virgo. I'm going to tell you right now. I am a Virgo. I am a Libra rising. I do analyze everything okay i analyze everything i overanalyze people i overanalyze things i overanalyze my work i overanalyze my videos i do a video like the only thing i don't care i don't think about is like see being the libra rising i'm surprised well i'm lying because i do look at the way i look like i'll i'll watch a video and be like oh my god my hair i should have fixed my face and done all this but you know i'm on videos all day long if i had to do my hair and makeup 24 7 i like my skin would be shit and my hair would look like shit but that's why my hair is healthy and my skin is healthy because i'm not constantly doing it and putting makeup on so i keep it very natural it breathes you know and when i have something important or i have something to do i do my hair i blow it out i do all that you know and it does it stops us from completing things eliza you know as virgos Here's the thing. Virgos are very good at doing a lot of things, multitasking and doing all that. But a lot of the times we're perfectionists and we overanalyze. Now, if you have a lot of Virgo on your chart or you even feel like this, you don't have to be a Virgo. We overanalyze and we're perfectionists. Okay, we like we really will literally I, for instance, will start something. And if it's not perfect, I don't want to finish it. OK, Vir Geminis are a lot like that, too. See, Geminis are like Virgos in a sense like this when, when they begin something Gemini's mind is so erratic and so vibrant that the idea will come to them. They have it, they have it, they have it. And they'll overwhelm themselves with too many ideas at once and they can't focus on one project at a time. Therefore, it just spreads into a hundred projects and it goes all over the place, okay? Yeah, they're both mutable signs, yes. So it's, um, what and, and you know, mutable, I'm a mutable sign and mutable signs are people who, they are okay with like letting things happen, letting things go. But I have a lot of fixed in my chart. I'm a lot, I have a lot of air. I have four Libra, no, five Libra placements, Aquarius in my chart, okay? And a lot of Gemini. I'm all air. I'm air. So if I'm, the air in me is like, phew. But when it comes to detail, attention to detail, I'm, I'm straight up a Virgo, okay? So yeah, 100%, like I know how it is because you're, your mind is incredible. Like if someone could look into your mind, they'd be like, whoa, your mind is fucking incredible. But it can't seem to like do sometimes. I This is why I had to practice this every day. At one point in my life, I was so all over the place. I would start 14 different projects and could not get together to finish one. And so today I have to stop myself and be like, all right, Flo, I know you want to do this. You want to do this. I want to write a book. I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to have a podcast. Blah, blah, blah. But I have to focus on one mission at a time because when i don't do that i'm constantly quitting stuff do you understand not quitting them leaving them on the back burner i want to make my healing album i want to do a podcast i want to write a book these are all things i want to do i want to invest my money into those things but i also want to get my own house and do all this stuff so what's more important to me is it the podcast of this the that or the house they're all equally important to me but all the both they balance each other out to the point where like sometimes I have to like tell myself like 
I have to sacrifice this for now, sacrifice that for now. But then again, I don't, I think about it. And what if I did that? Would that lead me to that? And sometimes I just don't know how to get it like in place. Do you understand what I'm saying? All of us have goals and aspirations. I bring, all of us have goals and aspirations and we're determined to do something. But we can't seem to gather the information correctly and just stop it so that we can actually get to where the fuck we want to be because we have so much talent so many of us let me, raise your hand if you're feeling what i'm saying right now because i'm feeling like this is a message for the collective we have so many fucking talents and so many things we want to do but we can't seem to understand how to like go about it that's <clears throat> one of the things i've struggled with for a long time we cannot seem to go I have all these talents. I want to do so much, but I can't seem to get myself in place. Like, how am I going to start this? How would I? For instance, for me, I'm great. I'm a great businesswoman, all that. Yeah, I am. But if it comes down to like self-promoting and all that, I don't have the patience to do the work then plus self-promote. Self you see what I'm saying? Like, you know, when somebody just wants to be the talent and that's why so many artists end up getting fucked over because... They're not business people. They're artists. And then when it comes to paperwork, they're just like, <laughs> get that away from me. It's complicated. You know, it becomes like, it's stressful. You want to be the artist. Then you want to do the paperwork. Then you want to do this. And then you want to connect to clients. For instance, for me, I have to do it all. I have to um, email people. I have to promote myself. I got to do the readings and I post them up. And then I got to ask for donations. I got to ask for um, uh, for people to send to PayPal. I got to connect with people. I have to send the link to 25 people every class. Like, it's me doing it. And yeah, you could say pay an assistant. Yeah, but you pay an assistant. And, and being me, the Virgo, what if they don't do it right? What if they fuck it up? What if they don't send everybody the email? What if everybody doesn't get the email? What if that... You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Then how... It's it's not easy. It's not easy. First of all, letting go of control. That's definitely not easy. Letting go of control. Second guessing myself all the time. Like all the time. I do that shit all day long. But I know I'm going to do it anyway. But for the moment, I just let me just fuck myself over in my head a hundred times. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I'm going to do this project. I know I'm going to get that done. But wait, but wait, but wait, but wait. See, Another thing I have to let go of, it's like for me, when I have a specific amount of money saved, I don't want to break that amount. I don't know if anybody else feels like that. Let's say you have $20,000. I'm just throwing a number up there. You have $20,000 saved or whatever. And then you have like five, 6,000 on the side to spend or do what you need to do or go on vacation. And you, you know, spend that money and then you're like, oh, fuck. Like now you got to go to that, that money that you packed away, right? Whatever your amount is. And you don't want to touch it because you know you have a plan for that. And then you have that. And it's like the fear, right? It's the, the spirit is saying the fear that you have. Like you have to trust that I'll provide for you. I know. And you know that that wanting to trust. I trust you. I do. But I trust you. But <clears throat> what if? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What if you don't? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She she any see any mirror. You and I are exactly the same. I drive my, my assistant nuts. Um, so, yeah, Nora, that's why if I had an assistant, she would have to be an extension of me or he. They would have to be an extension of me and never feel like I'm telling you what to do. Like, it, ha it would have to be like we working together to create something. And no matter what, we're going to, it's like almost if you're my assistant, you're my right hand woman, man. Hey, make my right hand woman, man. So, like, you're going to have to, um, I love you. You're going to have to work with me as if you're an extension of me. I can't have you working for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing well, babe. I'm doing well. good. How are you, my love? Um, you have to be an extension of me. So we have to let go of that control, especially for those of you who are starting projects and, and beginning <coughs> new things. And a lot of times I will meet people and they're doing something. I'm like, whoa, like, could we do it together? And they're like, no, because they're busy doing their own thing and they don't give a fuck about you. And so you, you, sometimes you get in that fucking energy of like, I'm going to have to do this all by myself. Like nobody's going to help me. Sometimes I feel like that. And even though spirit's helping me, the universe is helping me. I just, I want help from, from people. And when they do offer it, they always offer it wrong. I hate to say this, but I'm just going to say it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go with the flow. It, it's, it's crazy.
The only way you're ever going to see me on TV is if they give me my own show where I am healing and changing people's lives. If not, no. They should give me a show where I go into a house with like girls, bad girls from the bad girls club who have like issues because we all did, right? It's not even me saying you have issues, but they should put me in the house and I sit down with them individually every day and talk to them and help them change almost like a um, intervention without actually drugs being involved. Or it could be with that too, because I do behind the scenes work with a lot of the bad girls. There's a few of them that I work with that I do one-on-one -on -one sessions with and they talk to me and ask for advice and all that stuff and I don't say anything about it because I like to keep that um to myself and I will never say people's names or who I'm talking to or none of that shit behind the scenes because for me at the end of the day as long as I'm helping them I'm, I'm happy with it of course yeah it's a great idea it's an awesome idea I would be incredible at that because not only am I a medium a psychic intuitive I would know like what the person's going through I could get into when people talk to me their their most deepest emotions come out their most deepest emotions I've had people who you would look at and be like, nope, they're actually perfect. They're they're good. They're, they have no nothing bad going on. As soon as we I get along with them, all of their deepest, darkest emotions come out. It's almost like I, I'm gonna, I'm not comparing it to Lucifer the show, but you know he's like, what's your deepest desire? For me, it's more like, what is your deepest pain? And I help bring that out of people, and I'm like the the light version of of the of that kind of thing. What's your deepest desire? It's like their deepest pain would. Um, would come out you know i know i saw you mike i saw you um i know and so i just I, that's the only way you see me on a tv show again I, I say this over and over again i tell the universe if that's the kind of thing you want me to do then fine um a, a while ago a network called me about doing a show like intervention but that's more like drug based and helping people with like recovery and all that that's that's a that's a little bit tougher to, to work with, but I still could do it. But I do feel like if the universe wanted me... I always ask God, whatever you feel like is the best for me. And it's not about TV or not, but guess what? On TV, you could get a lot more people and a lot more people get help because they're watching you on it. But either way, I'm still never going to give up working out with people and helping people. Yeah, I feel sick to my stomach too right now. You know what I mean? Like, um, <clears throat> I know, blessed, you know, I was thinking that. You're so crazy for saying that. You are so funny for saying that. I was thinking that that, that takes money and time and um, <laughs> you try working with bad girls. <laughs> Go ahead, call them up. <laughs> try to get five girls, five bad girls together at once. <laughs> That's just not going to be easy. It's going to be a fight to the death <laughs> before people get, I don't got the, I don't got the patience for all that. I'll fucking, I'll start fucking smacking the shit out of everybody. <laughs> Did I fucking tell you to show up on time? No, I'm just kidding. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't. You know what's crazy? You're saying you feel like you want to throw up. My stomach feels full. I drank so much water just now. Like, it's just like all at once. And I just, I honestly, I've never, <clears throat> I've never made myself throw up unless I felt like I was like having acid reflux and I would force myself to get all the acid out or whatever. But I feel like that, you know? He has me speak about injustice so it makes sense to do social work. Yeah, exactly. Well, see, I tell God that he has me speak about. I was going to say. I am the type of person, I, I'm easy to work with. So I tell the universe and God, I'm like, look, you know my talents. Like, I'm going to throw my hands up and I'm, I'm just going to see what you got to offer me because I'm ready to work for you in whatever way you feel fits me best. But at the same time, I also have to put in work. So when I get signs from the universe and it says, like, it's time for you to start a new project, I'm like, I want to start a thousand projects. Can you make it clear to me which one you want me to start? Because you know me. I can do it all. So like, which one do you want me to focus on? Like, you know, like whatever you love, just focus on. But I'm also the type of person, even though I know what I'm doing, I like for God to direct me. Like, I feel like my soul has a purpose here on this earth, but I also want that guidance and direction. I think every single one of us want that. You know what I mean? Flo, are there many Albanians living in the States? In the United States? Hell fucking yeah. This place is fucking full of Albanians, bro. No points for popularity. And you know what's crazy, bless? That's another thing. Be careful what you wish for. No, no points for pop popularity. I always say it's not about fame. And God knows that. I talk to God every day. And I always say, you know, I don't give a fuck about fame or none of that. But the more people that get to see the message that you have to give, the better it is. But also, I'm not, I don't want that kind of fame where I'm like, I don't want to be so famous where like people fucking, like, I just, 
if I have any type of fame that goes along with healing people, I want them to be, ooh, I'm getting pressure in the head right now. Um, if anything, it's that kind of fame where people feel connected to me to the point where whatever is going on, we help heal each other. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's this new moon. Listen, this is the full moon. This is the moon. In, this moon uh, is in Leo, right? It's in Leo. That's why it's the Lion's Gate portal. And I got to tell you something. The lion asks us to be brave. It asks us to be courageous. It asks us to stand up for what we believe in. It asks us to step into what we really want to become and, and not stay all the disciples were fucked up on the 3D. <laughs> I hate you for saying that. I hate you for saying that. I literally have a um, thing I wrote down on my book because I have like a lot of paperwork that I wrote down through my experience. And one of them says, this is what all the greats must feel like when they're going through changes or whatever. And I wrote down how crazy it feels and how you feel like you're all over the place and this and that. So wherever, you know, we're led to, on the road to that leading, it's not easy. It's not going to be easy. You know, you have people who share their experiences through their changes in life, how they went through such deep emotional pain in private, and then people weren't seeing it in public. But here's the thing, I share it in public as well. So this way when, you know, when everything is like, <laughs> we love it, for real. This way when things and people are seeing what you're going through, they get to experience it with you and they are experiencing it with me. And therefore it helps to transcend their emotions so that they can understand what they're exactly going through right now. I'm out with you a great day. A lot of kisses to Dua. I love you too, to Dua. I don't want to do as I'm... So I'm just telling you guys, if you're feeling that way and you're feeling confused and you're like, what? And a lot of things are coming up for review from the past. And I cursed everything out in the car and then I slowed down. And I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be mean, but I'm so sick of this and blah, blah, blah. But sometimes you don't, you can't always be the nice guy either, especially when it comes to dealing with, hi, Chantel, especially when it comes to dealing with um, spirit and, and past life stuff. Sometimes you just got to let them know like, hey enough's enough man like i'm trying to be free over here i don't know where you're at in your life or your journey but i pray that you find yourself the love and the light that you that you need because i need my love and light energy i can't have i can't carry people's pain with me and so many people that want to be my friends or attached to me it's always because they feel like they're getting healing from me but like at one point in my life at some point in my life i have to like you know set the boundaries like yo like I'd like to have friends that like I could talk to too. Everybody comes to me and is like, blah, blah, blah. I, I don't ever hear nobody say, are you okay? And I'm just like, that's because they're not my friends. I'm here. I'm a healer to them. And so, and I am okay. And I will always be okay. That's not the point. The point is though, like for me to be able to speak to someone and be like, hey, by the way, uh, I'm going through this, that, 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 which is why I jump on here all the time. Because there's nobody I could call and tell them what I'm experiencing and they'll be like, I understand I'm going through the same thing. Like around me and my actual day-to-day -day life, there's not. I don't have somebody I could just call up right now and be like, hey, or go downstairs and talk to somebody. Or they just don't understand. They won't understand it. They'll be like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know what I mean? Thank you. I am okay. Thank you, blessed. I am okay. Thank you for asking. You know, there'll be a couple of people that'll hit me. I'm good, Meliska. How are you? Um, there'll be a couple of people that'll hit me up on DMs and be like, yo, you good? I'm like, yeah. They're like, no, I saw that live. I just want to check on you. I'm like, no, I'm fine. But being a, a, like a healer and a psychic and an empath and all that, a lot of people expect you to always be on point. And when I have a personal reading, if I'm not feeling okay and I'm not on point, I will tell my client, yo, I'm not. Today is not the day. You don't want a reading for me today. It's My energy is off. A lot of people understand 95% of them understand it. 99% of them understand. There's always that one person who's like, why, oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay. And I don't, I really don't care about it because like at the end of the day, my personal readings are very, first of all, they're very deep and in detailed, but spirit's leading me towards, you know, I've been playing that song, spirit lead me where my heart is underwater. Let me walk upon the waters. Of my savior, spirit, lead me where my heart. I've been listening to that song a lot. <clears throat> Flo, can you ask what a, what a religion do you have, Muslim or Christian? I was born a Muslim, but I don't refer myself to as Muslim or anything. I 
love all religions. I love all the prophets from every religion. I um, don't follow anyone in particular. I take a lot of everybody's teachings from the Buddha, from Christ, from <clears throat> the Elohim, from the archangels, from God, from from uh, Muhammad, from Fatima, from Mary, from Isis, from Lilith. I take a lot of people's different, um, different, um, girl, you can sing. I, I, I can sing, I could sing, I could pretty sing, sing pretty well. Again, that's another thing I wanna do, I wanna make a healing album. I love that song, it's so beautiful, man. Every time I listen to it, it's so good. Okay, babe, all right, blessed. I'll see you soon, my love, I'll see you soon. Hi, Andos, how are you? So what I'm saying to you guys is like, um, I was born a Muslim, but here's the thing, like I said, I, I love all religions and I don't wanna separate myself from anybody. And if I say I'm a Muslim, if I say I'm a Christian, if I say I'm a Buddhist, I'm separate, separating myself from other religions. And I try to explain that to everyone around me, including spirit, including, including family. <clears throat> I love who I am and I will never deny the fact that I was born a Muslim and I love Allah and I love the Quran and I love everything about every religion, but I also love, I also love a lot of Jesus' teachings and I love Fatima's teachings and I love Mary's teachings and I love the book of Thomas and I love uh, the Buddha's teaching. I love Taoism and I love um, Hinduism and I, how can I can't um sing again no I'm not singing again <clears throat> but I'm I actually have a song it's called friends come and go and I'm working on it and I want to put it out for you guys it's, it's a beautiful song it's friends come and go it's a good song <clears throat> I also rap really good by the way I write a lot of music I write a lot of music so I just feel like I don't want to separate myself from everybody. I want us all to be together. I don't consider them. another thing when people are like, like you're Albanian, right? I'm like, I was born Albanian, yes, but I don't consider myself white. I'm not white. I'm not Albanian. I'm not black. I'm not green. I am everyone. Like I know all of us have a bit of everything inside of us, and that's the whole fact, okay? And I know people understand what I'm saying when I say this. I really feel. Not flow getting shy, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it again. <laughs> but um, no, no. Um, but you know, I feel like I have every race inside of me. I really do. Like uh, sometimes I'm Chinese, sometimes I'm black, sometimes I'm white. I'm everybody. I'm every woman. It's all in me. Anything you want done, baby, I'll do it naturally. Whoa. Whoa. right i can cast a spell the secrets you can't tell see that songs have some secrets in them you know what i'm saying but i'm saying like that's how it is you know that's how it, you're blushing <laughs> all right guys all right that's enough <laughs> all right that's enough <laughs> all right stop all right stop no like stop looking at me. stop looking at me swan <laughs> you know the movie <laughs> me and my daughter oh so i got mad at my daughter earlier today i was upset with her because um, I, I, I think, I think it triggered something inside of me watching her be shy like that. I got upset with her and I acted like a child. I was like, don't talk to me because <laughs> I do everything for her. And then sometimes when she doesn't listen to me, I'm like, how dare you after all I do for you, the audacity, you know what I mean? <laughs> She's blushing or whatever. Can you guys shut the fuck up? <laughs> shut the fuck up. You can't like, I'm a very, um, here's the thing. As crazy as, as wild as you guys may assume I am, when, when we're in person, I am open and stuff like that. But when it comes to like um, certain things, I get really shy and really like withdrawn. So I have to force myself to like, not force myself, but I get out here and I, thank you for your honesty. I'm so tired and I want to sleep tomorrow. We'll be just fine. You see what I'm saying? Whenever I have a personal reading and I'm like, look, man, my energy's off. I just got a message from her and she was like, it's all right. I'm so tired. She goes, I can't believe it. I feel the same way. I know I can feel people's energy. You know what I mean? I can feel people's energy. It's so cute how we are all so connected. Like really, that's so beautiful. We're so connected to one another that I can actually feel people's energies. Thank you guys. I love you guys. You guys are so sweet. And you know what it is? Here's the thing. I connect with you guys on another level. I Like I said, not that I don't have friends and people I could call. I do, but they're not the same people I could talk to about this stuff. Where hey, I'm going through this, I'm going through Because they don't understand. They're like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, so anyway, yesterday, I'm like, like, this, this was just waiting, like, <laughs> you ever seen the movie Bad Teacher when she's like, 
and she puts her lip up and he's like, stop doing that with your lip. Stop. She's like, she, <laughs> that's how I be feeling sometimes when I talk to people on the phone. I'm like, <laughs> it's so crazy. Yeah. I had a date yesterday. I had, I had a date yesterday and I totally backed out on him. I use the ocean, but what, I haven't been in the ocean for years now. No water terrifies me. Is there a reason? Well, Adam, I was afraid of water too because of what I've drowned in a past life several times. So um, that 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 fear came up on me, but I faced my fear this summer um, when I went to the shore. I went in the water and it was beautiful and I was by myself in the ocean. Nobody was in the water and I was swimming. And of course, in my head, I was like, oh God, a shark's going to bite me, eat me or something, but nothing happened. I backed out and I had a date yesterday and I totally backed out on him and I feel so bad because he's such a nice person but I backed out first of all I was cleaning I was organizing and cleaning and my daughter um she didn't want to stay alone so that that's like really okay I'm lying I, I just backed out on him I'm lying that's a lie that's a lie I backed out on him I got like nervous like not nervous to be on a date but I was like huh, I don't know if I could do this right now I'm not I don't know oh god like I don't want to, like, almost like a fucking, I don't know what's what, what it is with me sometimes. When I, like, I'll be like, oh, I want love. And then God sends somebody over my way who's, like, a nice person. And I'm like, no, mm, I don't like his eyebrows. And not saying I said that about him, but, like, the littlest things. And, like, that's really a thing that I'm working on with myself. And it's not easy when you, again, want control because then you date people and they don't do things your way and you're like, what? I have to like accept that? <laughs> you know, like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean you can't eat benzene? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck's so hard? Move, let me show you how to do it. <laughs> like, I just try. <laughs> Imagine a guy's eating you out and you're like, bro, what the fuck is so hard? Move, let me show Ah! Yes? Can I help you? Like, like what? Mom, this is how you do it. Ah, like I just want to show everybody how to do shit. I'm like, no, 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 go ahead, do it for me. No, no, not that way. Move. That's not how you do it. I broke up with my first boyfriend, and it's emotionally very hard on me because I knew it was the right decision to make. But I'm putting all my trust into the universe and myself. I become extremely connected with my higher self. No, seriously, it's really true. Yeah, well, that's good. Um, that's another thing, though. I am so connected to my higher self. Here's another thing, though. If I meet somebody and he's not, like, spiritual, I'm like, well, what the fuck are we going to talk about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, wait a minute, because all I do is talk about spiritual shit all day. I do human shit, too. I do human shit, too. <laughs> I am such an alien. I do human shit, too, I swear. But, like, I just threw up again, man. <laughs> I feel like throwing up. I feel like throwing up. Stop. I'm about to throw up. Like, you know, um, like, what the fuck am I going to talk to you about? What I want, like, don't forget, I work with people all day long. And, like, if my partner isn't like, well, what happened today? What, how was the reading? Or, you know, um, that video you did was so cool. Or, like, you know, if they're not into what I'm doing, I'm sure whatever they're doing, like, you know, like, what, even if they're, like, a financial analyst or something, I'm like, how was your numbers today? Like, I'm not going to really care, but I'm going to be like, how was your accounting uh, thingy? You know, but I'm act interested at least. But sometimes when I talk about spiritual stuff, people look at me like I have five heads. And I'm like, wait, you don't believe in like aliens? Like, wait, even though this this guy does and like he was kind of like talking about it. But like, you know, so it wasn't him. It's not him. I, I just I backed out. But I am going to try to go on that day. I am I, maybe tomorrow or something or the next day. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, no, she's like, trust me, I'm a human sometimes. I swear. <laughs> You know what's crazy? I went to shave my legs yesterday. Hi, um, they love Jordan. How are you? I went to shave my legs yesterday and my, and my, and I was like, oh my God, this takes forever. It is so annoying. Like what? Did you know they used to use arsenic to remove hair in the Ottoman, um, in the Ottoman kingdom at the one point, the harem? The harem, all the 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 sultans, uh, uh, concubines, which they took from Russia and was like, come here, bitch, you're gonna be a sex slave. That's your job, and that was their job, just to be like sexual slaves to the king. One of the harem, she became actually the sultana, 
by being a harem in the, in the Ottoman thing and she became a, a queen that way. So did, what's her name? Um, um, Anne Boleyn, she did the same thing, right? She, after the king had a child with her sister and she couldn't fulfill the role, she then took um, King, um, what the fuck was his name? But anyway, the point was they used arsenic on their vaginas. And if they left it on too long, it could burn them to death, like, and shit like that. What even is that? Enlighten me. What even is what? What even is what? Wait, was this the blah, blah, blah guy? Gina? No, the other. No, no, no. You know, it's not. First of all, it's not T-Mobile. It's at and <laughs> T-Mobile. People in T-Mobile pay like $60 for their cell phone bill. Mine costs $99.99. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, that's a good thing. Oh, arsenic is poison. It's something that women used to use to kill their husbands with a lot back in the day. In the 1800s when they just wanted their husbands offed. They just put a little arsenic in their soup every day and the guy got sick. And in that time, they didn't have autopsies that could prove that a person poisoned their husbands and like today if you were to slowly poison someone with arsenic um you would be able to prove it that back then they didn't they just um they would slowly poison their husbands or or their their um husband's wives right the maids would poison their husband wives with it to get rid of them so they could become the head of the household things like that <sighs> Danielle, I'm gonna tell you something crazy. Your your icon photo actually looks like a woman from the 1800s era. She's like that. I don't know if that's what it is, but it does look like some kind of like it's like like a like an 1800 type of vibe here. So that's what they used to use to remove the hair. But I was shaving and. So, like, that's another thing, though. Like, I, it might be my insecurities, too. Like, I'm a little chubby right now, and I don't know if I want to just run around butt naked in front of somebody right about now. <laughs> you know, I got a chubby stomach. My is chubby. Like, I'm just chubby all over. My boobs. I want to get my boobs done. Like, there's a couple of things, you know. <laughs> no, well, I'm glad you're feeling better and not throwing up because... Yeah, I love you too, babe. You know, I just, I like, my boobs are huge and I kind of like want to get them lifted and all this. Like, I got a really good bra on here and, and like it looks, I mean, they're not saggy. Here's the thing. They're not saggy. They're just, they're big. They're really, really big. Like, my boobs are not, like, they're, they're big. When I do this and I walk around like holding my boobs and I'm like, oh my God, I feel like I'm like 10 pounds. Then I put them back and I'm like, oh, it's so heavy. Oh my God. Like, when I gain weight, it's all in my titties. Like, it's nowhere else. Nowhere else. I'm like, why can't my ass gain some weight? My hips, maybe. You know what I'm saying? But no. Where do I get it? All in my titties. All in my titties. I know. I want to get a... Um, thank you. I do feel beautiful. I do. Here's the thing. I feel beautiful, but... Uh, I'm just... I need to lose a lot of weight for me to feel, like, comfortable. I just feel so heavy. I feel so, like, stuck to the earth. I want to just be a light body. Oh, I bet my tongue... I just want to feel like lighter. And yes, I did look into a breast reduction. I did. But if they didn't approve me for a car with my credit score and I have cash, but they still wouldn't approve me and I wasn't going to use all the cash I saved to buy a car. Like that would just be stupid. Like I saved my money for a reason. And so if they didn't approve me for that, then I would have to wait. I would have to get a cosigner for a breast reduction as well. And insurance does not cover breast reductions if you don't have like medical history of your back pain and all that shit. You know what I mean? See, you get it in your hips? I wish, bitch. I wish. Like, I, I want to get all the fat taken out of my whole body and put it in my ass. Because, I like, my butt, it does not, it just doesn't grow. It's just small. You see? It's just a little, there's just a little butt. Like, right, there's only that little bit right there. There's nothing here. I have no hips, if you could see. My hips are very, like, you know, they're very straight, right? I got baby-making hips here. Like, here, I got baby-making hips. Sorry, I know, it's it's a bit much, right? But I got baby making hips here, you see, here, and but I got this belly here, right there, and it's a lot, it's a lot to deal with. But my breasts are huge. They're they're not. Look at them. They're huge. They're like not small. They're big, and it could be uncomfortable. 
every one single human who knows they're beautiful still may have flaws and things they don't like, which is normal and okay. Yeah, yeah, it's very normal and okay, you know? I don't stress about it, but at the same time, I'm like, I could fix this. Would I, would I easily, if I got a breast reduction and a lift and worked out, I would be happy with my body, but working out is so annoying. But then, like, I want to get into it, but I like things like hiking and things like that. And everyone I am cool with lives so far away. So I would have to drive like 40 minutes a day just to go hiking with them. Or they would have to drive 40 minutes a day. If I had somebody around me who lived here and was down to go hiking or walking, I would go every day for like two hours and walk straight up. Just walk, 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 walk. Yeah, I get it on my stomach too. And, but it's like, I wish my boobs and ass grew with the weight. Yeah, my boobs do. And I just don't get a booty. My booty just stays like it's that tiny little booty, you know? But, like, I always get this, like, especially, like, when a guy likes me or whatever, they're like, you have a cute butt. I like your butt. And I'm like, you have a cute butt. And then you butt. <laughs> you just basically tell me I have a little tushy. But it's okay. They like it. You know what I mean? They Men that like me anyway, they're usually titty men. Like, they ain't gonna come after me if they don't like some big-ass titties just smacking them in the face. You know what I'm saying? Not the, not the fact that I'm playing chakra healing sounds on YouTube and it keeps stopping. <laughs> Planks work for your whole body workout planks like just like just sitting with your arms like that that's that's a good one give me some meat take it let's go to the doctors I'll, I'll transfer some of my shit over to you we're all beautiful and you're beautiful too and i love you guys for saying i'm beautiful and i feel beautiful i want you to don't misunderstand me i'm not insecure it's insecure i'm not insecure i look at myself and i'm like i'm beautiful i look at my body and i, I admire myself in many ways look that's beautiful but there's things, it's not about the looks for me. It's the comfort level, right? So when I see things, it's not about how I look. It's how, do I feel comfortable in this body right now? And the answer is no. I feel very weighed down. Like I said, again, if I'm, like yesterday, I cleaned from 10 o'clock, no, 12 o'clock in the afternoon till 8 o'clock at night. I cleaned, organized, took things out of my room. Like really, I just want to show you guys because I'm such a Virgo and there's nothing I'm prouder than organizing things. Now, this might look messy to you right here but no you should have seen it yesterday all of that like this might look messy to you but you should have seen it yesterday that's that's all my candles i'm like two things you can never have enough of is water and candles like don't play with me Those are, but look like i went through everything like and i organized everything really neatly i look at my closet it's like so hold on it's so perfect i'm so proud of it because it took me forever to do this i took out so many things oh guys let me show you these outfits they're so cute i bought them look Sweatsuit outfits. How cute is this? Look at this sweatsuit outfit. This is just beige sweatsuit sweat outfit like that. Right? I got that. And then I got this one, which is really cute. This one with shorts. I like the beiges right now, but this one is shorts. You see? It's shorts. And I was trying them on for my mom. She's like, I love them. I'm gonna, I, I bought them for Amsterdam, but I, I also will wear them other times too. This sweatsuit outfit. Look, all beiges. I really went with the beiges. Look, lots of beige beige and beige this is a sweatsuit outfit as well it comes with the pants all right these are like they're cute it's cute then look at this this is also a sweatsuit outfit that i got they're all from target by the way and they're really cute this is also a sweatsuit outfit and this one's kind of different it's kind of cool this is sweatpants with the shirt and then i got this look how cute i got this this is pink with the pink pants that's really cute too that's just plain pink with that that's cute too so one two three all beige i love the beige right the beige is pretty and then i got this cute pajama which i fucking love look how cute that is that's a cute pajama right and it's really like bouncy and comfortable it's so cute it is so cute it's so comfortable and they were like i don't know everything was like 20 20 30 bucks i don't know how much this was let me see i love this pajama the material is crazy beautiful 20 bucks and it's fucking beautiful. Then I got this outfit, which is so fire. This outfit is so lit. Look at this. This is gorgeous with the pants. Look at the pants here. These are the pants. The pants are so nice. They're like sweatpants, but like kind of linen-y, right? These are so cute right here. This is my favorite one. It's got the pants with it. And then I got this shirt, which is super cute. Super cute. Look at this shirt. This shirt looks fire on with a nice bra underneath. Let me try to get a good light in it, lady. This shirt is so cute, and it's like a linen-y type of feeling. You see that? It's like kind of wrinkled, and it looks so cute with like a cute bra underneath. It's so cute. I got this jacket. 
this lucky brand jacket which was on sale it went from a hundred and something dollars to like 45 dollars i think it was and it's so cute it's lucky brand it's adorable i love lucky brand lucky brand jeans and everything are my favorites they're my favorite i got this sweater which is just like a regular like it's very loose though very loose and i got these shirts these t-shirts like these like little cute shirts from there yeah the jean jacket looks nice i love the jean jacket with this shirt because of the blue it's like really cute together the blue with that but here's the thing like i don't like wearing jeans because of my fupa so like that's cute together i don't like wearing jeans because of my fupa so i, I do a lot of tights or sweatpants i'm sorry no offense but jeans just don't look good on me right now i bought the um i bought the spanx from um I bought the Spanx from fucking, what you call it? From Shapewear. You know the Shapewear, those Spanx, those, everybody's buying those, those Spanx. I bought them, but I can wear Spanx for about 20 minutes and I'm like, get these fucking lady killers off of me right now, you know? Yeah, it fits me. It fits me. It's a little, it's, it's, it fits me perfectly. I'll show you. Hold on. Hi, babe. Can well, you drink me a shower? Can I take you a shower? Yeah. Don't sit on that bed. Don't sit on that bed. Gave you a Chase. Chase. Yo, you're a hot mess, girl. Oof. This one. Look, and it goes like this. Oh my God, so cute. And I stole it from him. It's cute, right? What? I'm showing them. It's a little like it's a little. It's not too tight. It's pretty, actually feels good on me too. It's shred. It's stretchy. All right, guys, I gotta give Eliana a shower because she she just walked in smelling like hot ass cheeks. So. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. She's a hot ass mess. She did the fucking thing today with the kids. She she did the the Zoom with the kids. They got to introduce themselves. Like they got to meet each other. So yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It's it's nice. I got a lot of stuff here. A lot of cute stuff in my closet. But guess what? I haven't been able to wear none of it. Like they're just sitting here. I haven't been able to wear none of that shit. None of it. And that's why I got these outfits for Amsterdam. Cause you know you want to get a couple of like new outfits. You want a different. She's going to a different country. Some girl I know, she gets to go to Amsterdam soon. Yeah. Come on, get up, get up. Come on, let's go to take a shower. Get your stink ass off my bed. You feel sad. I just sad. Oh, I'm about to say, oh, here we go. Now I got to console you too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so. Yeah, so all these outfits only cost me all of these outfits right here. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. Like twelve items cost me like three hundred and forty dollars in Target, which is not bad. Okay, that's like a whole new wardrobe, really. Okay, guys, I love you. I'll see you later. Let me go give this uh, this little girl a shower. And you have to check me for ticks. My white girl name, Florina. <laughs> I don't know, Lena, Lena. My parents, I guess that's a white girl name. I don't know. All right, guys, I have, have to. to check me All right, let me go check you for ticks. Get up. Ooh, ooh. I'll see you guys later. Bye. I don't have any, but can you just check me?